the time we have for this episode. Thanks so much to our panel and our special guest, Ed Alonzo. That was so much fun. I love watching all these crazy animals with you. Thanks, Elizabeth. And thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on World's Funniest Animals. The new documentary series, 100 Days to Indy, premieres Thursday, April 27th. Now at 10, breaking news in West Hills, gunfire erupts at a busy shopping center, sending panicked customers running for cover. Tonight, one person's dead, three others are wounded. Heartbreak and devastation all across the South and Midwest. At least 21 people are killed after powerful tornadoes destroyed homes and businesses, completely leveling some communities. Tonight, the destruction being called a war zone. And the shock is still kind of seeping in tonight, two days after former President Trump's historic indictment. New details about the charges he's facing and what Trump is now saying about the Department of Justice. Now, on the News at 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chamber. And I'm Kareem Winter. We begin with breaking news in West Hills. That's where one person is dead and three others are critically wounded after gunfire erupts at a popular shopping center. Yeah, the shooting unfolded in broad daylight as people were out shopping and dining. KTLA 5's Rachel Minitoff is live in West Hills now. She's got more new information about the arrests and some reaction from the witnesses. Rachel? Rick and Kareen, there is still a large active crime scene here. What we know so far is that there was an argument over a narcotics transaction, and that led to this deadly shooting in this parking lot here behind us. Two of the people involved then ran away, fled the scene. They were involved in a short police pursuit and eventually taken into custody. LAPD officers swarmed this West Hills shopping center between Van Noen and Fallbrook, responding to four people shot in the parking lot. As a result, three people are in critical condition and a fourth person died. Adam Strickland was coming out of the movie theater when he heard a handful of gunshots prompting him to call 911. And then I just heard a couple pops. It didn't even register to me that they were gunshots until after I saw people um, running away in my rear view. According to LAPD Deputy Chief Alan Hamilton, at 345 Saturday afternoon, there was a shootout as a result of a drug deal gone wrong. Multiple people had guns and fired at each other, and there's a possibility this involved gang affiliation. After the shootout, two of the suspects, a man and a woman, fled the area. Along the way, they were involved in a hit-and-run crash that injured an innocent driver. The suspects continued on driving. They ended up switching cars, led police on a short pursuit before being taken into police custody at this intersection two and a half miles away from the original shootout. We believe that all of the people involved in this dispute have been identified and we believe we have them either in custody or we have them uh, where we can uh, provide them medical care and we will do a subsequent follow-up investigation after they are medically treated. This all happened in the middle of a busy complex where people come to shop and dine out. Witnesses describe the uncertainty and the fear they felt. When we realized it was gunshots, we were like really scared because we just did not expect that, especially over here. We live right down the street. I mean, everybody was panicking. It's not something that we're used to. So it's, it's such a bad experience. Yeah, beautiful day in, you know, around here, but ended up in such a tragedy. So far, three people are in custody and two others involved are being treated at the hospital and police say there is the possibility for additional arrests. LAPD wants to stress, though, there is no threat to the public that everyone involved in this situation has been accounted for. We're live in West Hills tonight. I'm Rachel Menetoff. I'll send it back to both of you in the studio. Okay, Rachel, thank you. Also, developing news in Van Nuys. That's where two men were shot, one of them killed, after a gunman opens fire inside a home. Tonight, police say are searching for the shooter. Authorities say the shooter knocked on the door and said something in Armenian before opening fire. Now, both of the victims are Armenian, and tonight, detectives trying to figure out how the three men know each other. Chris Wolf is live in Van Nuys for us. He's got the latest on this. Chris? Yeah, Rick and Kareen. Neighbors tell me they heard two loud gunshots early this morning. As you said, there are two victims here.